Visions of the Sleeping God Written by Andy Chambers Narrated by R.J. Bailey Zarephiston pronounced the last invocation and looked toward his master for the final act of the ritual. The despoiler held a bound space marine, identifiable as a space wolf by his fangs and pack tattoos, securely in the talon of Horus. With a single slow swing of his demon sword, Drachnaean, Abaddon cut from shoulder to hip. Letting the split cadaver fall limply, Abaddon thrust Drachnaean into the altar before him. Rivulets of rich blood ran down the blade and seeped through the idols, totems, and fetishes that covered the shrine. The altar began to shake, crimson tendrils of smoke spiraled up from it, coalescing into a fanged and horned visage that gazed down on the despoiler and his sorcerer. Zarephiston addressed the apparition. Prangor, spirit of the warm, I command you in the name of the four powers to speak. The bellowing, vaporous claw reached out from the apparition to stir the thick blood on the altar, which bubbled vilely in response. The demonic manifestation spoke with a voice like a howling gale. I have expected your summons, Abaddon thrice cursed. I will tell you what you wish to know, but heed well, you will pay a higher price than this offering. One day, your soul will be the plaything of the flesh hounds. Abaddon raised the talon of Horus and reached inside the crimson mist. For a moment, the talon burned with a dark flame and the apparition howled in pain. The despoiler leaned forward. You dare threaten me? I think not. Learn to serve with grace, little demon, or suffer the consequences. The warp is full of whispers about Mars. Tell us what you know. With a last twist, he withdrew the talon, crimson tendrils dripping from the claws. The demon hissed and smouldered, but lowered its gaze. In the shade of terror, beneath the mountains of mist, there is a new type of death. A sacrifice of men, but the precious souls are not consumed. They are cast adrift. Many are the demons that wait, like carrion, to feast on the leavings from this rich table. Zarephiston turned excitedly to Abaddon. Mars is in the shade of terror, and the mountains of mist are Noctis Labyrinthus. The orgers were true. The despoiler nodded, then fixed his gaze on the demon, which recoiled before him. Show me more. What is on Mars? The demon form blurred and contracted into a pulsing ball of crimson ichor. As if squeezed by an unseen hand, the pus oozed onto the altar, covering it in a grisly sheen in which shapes twisted and formed. The traitor marine saw a great chamber of basalt, Around it, towering machines of antique silver stretched endlessly upward. Set in the floor was a vast sarcophagus of adamantium and gold. From each of the machines in turn, a flickering beam of unimaginable energy flowed in a glittering arc to the sarcophagus. Outside the summoning chamber, Abaddon's Black Legion bodyguards heard an unfamiliar sound. The harsh, grating laughter of the despoiler. 
You have been listening to Visions of the Sleeping God Written by Andy Chambers Narrated by R.J. Bailey If you've enjoyed this, please leave a review on iTunes or like, share and subscribe on YouTube, depending how you're listening. Thank you to Graham McNeil for helping attribute the right authors to their individual stories. This production, like all of Old X, is entirely unofficial and uncommercial, from an out-of-print publication, is a derivative work with all copyrights owned by Games Workshop, and is a celebration of the hobby and lore I grew up with. If you have suggestions for other old Codex fiction for me to narrate on this podcast, you can comment, contact me on Twitter at rjbailey, or email robertjbailey at gmail.com. Links are in the show description.